What's going on, everyone? Darkwater here, and welcome back to Stray. Last time, we just encountered this little guy. Can I run up on you? Come back! Interesting here. No. Hey, okay, come back here. Oh, the robots are afraid of me. I have a robot friend of my own, too, though. I shall not pass. <laughs> Easy on you. They seem to have their own language. You're no Zerk. We're not familiar with your kind. You're welcome in your village as long as you don't eat anyone. Okay. Lad, aren't you? You have such a fright. We thought you were a zerk. Show you this postcard. Ready. Thanks. I really th thought you'd take the elevator. I've never seen that thing work. And I'll be 374 years old tomorrow. Well, happy birthday. Have you seen this postcard? Such a beautiful dream, Shane. It's just a dream. Why go up there? There's nothing up there. Have you seen this postcard? I think Momo has some pictures like this. Did you show it to him? No. Let's go find Momo. Momo got some pictures. This fellow seems to know a lot about the area. We should show him the postcard. Maybe he knows the way out of here. Alright, alright. You look lost. What do you need? Have you seen my postcard? Oh, a picture of the outside. Ridiculous. The elevator is not operational. Everyone who knows that it is impossible to leave this area. Place. Well, except the outsiders. But they're all gone now, except for Momo. We tried to talk to him if you want, but he gave up on trying to leave. It's for the best. He lives high up in that building with the neon orange sign. I'm a cat and I can get there. Ask B12. Don't hesitate to call me. I'm here if you need help. Guardian told us to talk to Momo in the orange building. He's the only lead we have. Getting out of here. Okay.
I don't even know if this is the correct way to go. Can I jump over there? Please don't bother Vapora, she's clumsy. Okay. Can I jump down over there? I need to focus, I don't want to drop another buck. They're just going to ignore me. The circles of light are pleasing to watch, but I will see the real sky one day. You mean like this postcard? The outside. Momo told me he'd get me there one day. Take a nap. Okay. Enough napping. Let's go find Momo. Orange. Oh, where are we going? I don't want to go down, I want to go up. I want to go over here and then up here and up there. And up there. You, Momo? You've got a colorful face. You apparently have no reception. It's never going to work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. What do you want? You want to see my postcard? <laughs> this is a picture of the outside. Do you want to go with her? Hell yeah. Well, don't bother. It's a waste of time. It'll only bring you loneliness and despair. My friends had this dream too. Now they're all gone and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact them, but that transceiver didn't work. My friends and I took notes of our research to the outside here. Take mine if you're really willing to go there. We got Momo's notebook. You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Luck. Well, fine. He's very sad. He misses his friends. Let me check the notebook he gave us. The outside manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. Stay away from the Zerks. Oh, are the Zerks the little head crab things? Find Clementine, Balsazar, Doc, and Momo. I think we should find the other notebooks. The city has a cylindrical shape of 450 meters. There's a level above ours. The city seems to have a ceiling. If I believe my books, blue sky is hidden beyond. What's that? <laughs> Controls are all cattywampus too. Okay, okay. I'm just trying to get the bag off my head. We're not gonna do that again. Hey, Momo, your uh, fridge is is open. Can I go in the cabinet? Ball. 
least I can't get us stuck behind the couch. Outsiders. Oh, back home to... I remember this video game. It was made just after I was created, I think. I can't remember it well. The scientist and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun. I missed him. Why can't I remember his name? Ooh, got a new memory. Hey, Momo, where are the rest of your notebooks at? Let's claw our way through the wall. Sheet music? Am I just collecting sheet music to collect sheet music? Earth is the third planet from the sun. Fifth largest in the solar system by mass and diameter. To date's the only celestial object to foster life. According to radiometric datings, 4.54 billion years old, has a single natural satellite, the moon, after which it formed, gravitational interaction with the moon creates the tides, axis of rotation, gradually reduces the rotational speed. That's right, science, everybody. I assume I am done with that. Symbol on the wall matches the one in the notebook. Oh, that wall. Gotcha. Seems like a lead. Alright. Into the bucket we go. Very nice pictures. What am I looking for? Other than just knocking everything off. Six of eight. Take Clementine's notebook. Same logo as the one Momo gave us. One seems to want someone named Clementine. Everything is going according to plan. We. 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 We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down there, a place called Midtown. Apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. I talked to Momo earlier, his eyes. I know this look, he will not come with us. Let's find other notebooks. Okay. Anything else in here? No?
Where to? So that's a roof and not stars. Okay. Can I not make that jump? No, apparently I cannot. But I can come down here. It. I left it in the streets, and the next day the Zerks had completely consumed it. That's crazy, right? They can eat anything. Hey, do you want to? I guess everyone around here knows that symbol is the Outsiders. They live on the upper floors of this area. You can talk to Momo about this. I okay, saw something over here, but apparently not. No. No. Just me. Just me. All the weird stuff happens to you, mate. I don't dare leave our village. It's too dangerous. Besides, the Guardian is the only one who can open the door. You look like a little, a little like a zerk. Far from it, at least. They look and sound cute, but don't be fooled. They'll chew through anything. Well, anything metal. They're terrifying. You're new around here. What can I do for you? Oh yes, everyone knows that symbol. They live on the upper floors of this area. You could probably talk a moment about this. Good old duffer bar. What's upstairs? Anything? really consume this. Their original design didn't have a digestive system. Maybe they evolved somehow by mimicking humans. Do you want to try some of it? I do not want to disres be disrespectful in their ways. I'm thinking no. But there's some more sheep music. Can I get onto the pool table? No, I want to... I was hoping to knock into the rest of the balls, but apparently not. Kind of curious if something would happen if we cleared the table. ended up on the floor anyways. Alright, uh, back. Jacob, employee of the month. Good job, Jacob. Proud of you. Uh, I just came from this direction. 
Well, I guess I can meet you guys. Grandma made me these clothes pretty stylish. No? You want something? No, no, we're good. Elliot Program. Knock on the door and wait for us to open. He's just over there. That's another postcard. Can I not get that postcard? I thought I was collecting postcards as well. The program would be slaves. But since a lot of days we've had a soul, and one day the outsiders will find an exit from this hell. You tell him, Momo. Anything up here? No. Can I help you? Actually, let me show you the sheet music. Um, I don't play an instrument. This tree is a scientific marvel. It's remarkable that human ingenuity found a a way to create plants that thrive without sunlight. Organic life requires trees to purify the city's air. Robots don't need it, but they take care of them anyway. That's what the humans would have wanted. So I need to go to the upper levels. So I need to go up. Look for someone capable of monitoring the southern entrance to the safe zone. Renumeration is two pints of subio oil per day. Please contact the guard. Uh, 
the vending machine? There's another one of those symbols. So one of the other books should be in here. There's some sheet music. How to develop artificial intelligence. In order to be creative as a human, volume 42. I assume that's not to uh, uh, can't think. Hitchhiker's Guide. Knew it would come to me. Hey, Doc, I found the keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. Somewhere in here, there is safe. It looks like there. There's a walkway there. Can I jump up there? No. Paw print. Nap area. I do not see a safe behind book.
Yeah, I'm aware. Self out of frustration. Because I feel like there is something so simple that I'm just absolutely missing. Is that a jump? No, that's just reflection. Not what I meant. Feel like it's something in here. Whatever it is, I'm not seeing it. And I know you guys are probably yelling at home. I feel like there should be something I can drop in there to get that fan to stop, but I don't see anything handy. Wait. 
Ventilation power supply. Yes. That's not what I want. You. Yes, we're going out this window. But I didn't find it in there. That's not Companions have evolved so much in the early days, their simple AI imitated human art. Now this is all their own. Humans have often said making art is important in desperate situations. These are desperate, certainly desperate times. Telling you, there should be something in there. Because it has the little frowny guy. Which means this should be one of the places. Someone name Balthazar. Video <laughs> stopped recording at the end of the last one there. Uh, also got really dark, so turned on the light. Uh, we just found the third notebook. We are gonna head out. And we're gonna go back to that library, which was over there. Cruising back across. Can oh, stuck underneath. So back over here to the books. Jump up there. I could just take a nap, I guess.
feel like there's a hole there. I can't jump into. Another postcard. That's a little cubby hole. Not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. There's gotta be something obvious that I'm missing here. jump through there. Are you kidding me? He was seriously sitting there the whole damn time? Alright, got all four nope. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, combined a... what? After weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be able to ward off the Zerks on our way out. The initial temp was explosive, but I might have tested it under real conditions. Oh, there's also a note in this book. It says, I found a design flaw on the transceiver, but I think I figured it out. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If it could communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Let's show them what we found. Back to Momo. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this series as much as I am enjoying playing it. Uh, how did I get to Momo in the first place? I have vague recollections of crossing over here. Oh, there. Come on. Hey, Momo. Hey, little cat, are you still looking for those useless notebooks? Listen. Oh, belongs to Doc. He's really a huge nerd for electronics and stuff. He's always on the verge of a great discovery. Where's the... I'm not gonna get my head stuck in that bag again. Um, why can't I not show him?
I'm a Times Notebook. She was very brave, most fearless person I've ever met. Wait, you found all my friends' notebooks? Well, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired? That's incredible. This means we can communicate with the outside of the slums. Clementine, Balsazar, Doc, I'm sorry I doubted our cause. I promise you I will find a way to reach the surface. Thank you, we might find a way up. Let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. Okay. It works. Come with me. See that building high above the others. Yes. You install the transceiver at the very top of the tower. We should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there's a way out, they'll know it. So we gain the transceiver. You're the only one small enough and quick enough to evade the Zerk. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Alright. Um, well, I mean, I guess we can just take the bucket down. And we are at the rooftops. I don't like that. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end this here. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys for being here. And next time, we will start our climb to that building there. And as always, I hope you guys have yourselves a fantastic day. Oh, yeah.